Number eight. What I like to do is like we all got to shower every day, right? I mean, that's, I hope we do it, at least. I shower every day. Okay, most of the days I do. Some days I don't. If it's, uh, you know, I don't know, I live by the beach. If I'm jumping in the ocean, then I kind of sort of sometimes think it's okay not to. But in general, we shower every day. What I started to do and started to watch is I started to watch a lot of my friends who were crazy workouters and a lot of when I would go to CrossFit, one of the incredible things that they would do is they would do cold baths and it would just be something to bring down the inflammation, the swelling, to start, it was almost a meditation because it was about breathing and understanding your body and it was about bringing inflammation down. So as humans, no matter what it is, we're always bringing trauma to the body, whether it's exterior stress, uh, interior stress, walking, running, talking, moving like I am now, it is trauma to the body, which is causing some level of inflammation, both internally and externally, which means we're swelling all over the place. And if we can bring our bodies down to a non-fight or flight process, we're going to be able to achieve, we're going to be able to receive what out there in the day a lot better. We're going to be able to be supercharged throughout our day because we're not going to be inflamed. We're not going to be fighting something or flighting from something because we're able to come in a little less inflamed. So how does that happen? Because you're like, Mike, I don't have a tub and I'm not getting in the water every day and I don't have this amount of ice. So what are you going to be able to do? Here's how I do it. I get into my shower. I take my normal everyday shower, no matter what it is, whatever temperature. You like a hot one? Go for it. You, you like a warm one? That's your, that, that's your jam. The last minutes before I get out of my shower, I start to slowly decrease the temperature. I don't put my head under the water, but I slowly, slowly decrease temperature until it gets to a point where I'm uncomfortable, like really uncomfortable, where I have to begin to breathe through it. At that point, I try and stay in as long as I possibly can. Two minutes is a pretty good variable for you to set a standard for you in the beginning and just go there. I mean, I, this is cool. Obviously, there's no temperature gauge in the shower. So you're going to be able to go to whatever your standard is in that particular moment of the day. So reduce your inflammation by taking about two minutes of reducing the temperature in your shower down to an extremely cold level whatever level that you can tolerate to reduce the inflammation in your life so that you can go out into your day and become supercharged and inflame your day rather than yourself. Thanks so much for watching this video in your quest to find out what the fuel is that will supercharge your day, day after day. I've got 10 steps total that I choose from. I don't do them all every single day, but I do choose a portion of those that make it specific to me and my fuel. I hope that you'll find the same. If you have any questions about any one of these steps or how to supercharge your day, comment down below, hit me up on any of my social media, as well as in the description, I put where you can sign up, where you can get the worksheets for supercharge your day, the rest of the playlist for the videos, and some affirmations that are out there. So please let me know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You know the deal. I wish I could point it in which direction it really needs to be, but the, the subscribe button is extremely important because it helps you get the content that I create on a daily basis that could possibly change your life and supercharge your day.